Okay, so I saw a video, I mean, or picture about the John Morant versus Zion thing, and I wanted to give my opinion out on it. So, first thing first, if we're talking stat wise with Zion and Ja, well, since Zion was injured, I really don't know what his injury was. One Zion was a broken foot in his leg. Somebody said it was his shoe breaking. So I don't know. I just I just figured he was out. So he was out. So if we want to talk stat wise, currently John Morant is better. But as you can see, okay, stat wise and things like that, John Morant beats him. Now I don't, I never really saw Zion in a big like playoff or championship thing run. But you know in round two. When the Memphis Grizzlies were playing against the Warriors, you saw where, like, Jaw can, like, how do I phrase this? Jaw can, like, kind of put the team right back, even though they did win, uh, what, I think it was their third, second game without Jaw, and, and they blew him out. But I think probably currently I have to go with Jaw. And people who say, the people who say, like, Oh, I have to go Zion. They don't really get about a good opinion. Because Zion, too, like, he's too injury prone. Like, he, he, um, he only played, like, a few games his, his rookie year. I think, I don't know who got rookie of the year that, that year. But he only put, played a few games his rookie year. He's out, all, he's always out on injuries. But if he can fix his injury habits, it's all right. Cause if he gets a sign, I mean, if if someone offers him a honey bun to go drop 25, 35, 45, even overcome Wilt stats, I promise you for a whole pack of ice honey buns, he he will go out there and drop 45. But um yeah. So but my opinion personally, like all time, I might have to go Zion, but currently I'm gonna have to go Ja. The only thing I don't like about John is that he's cocky. Like, you know, when he lost against the Warriors, it shows, like, they lost 20. He was talking Dynasty, like Clay said. He was talking Dynasty, and he lost. He didn't win. So, although I just think that's, like, I feel like he's, like, for, for like, his new season, for his new year, he has, like, his, his, new, his new year's resolution. He has to stop, like, get off of social media so much. And then he's he's a good suburban kid. Talk about some um it's free to it's free to see how hollows feel cause the money won't ever change me. Been on that, still on that, forever on that, won't ever speak on it. This man is a suburban child. Go walking into private school posting about this. He uh, But enough on that topic. Okay, so the main question I was seeing is if you're building a franchise, say your Phoenix no ring son, CP no rings or tires, Mikael Bridges stays. No, Mikael Bridges, Bridges leaves. The only star play, players like DeAndre Ayton or something. So say that happens, right? So that happens, and you gotta build somebody. Would you rather take Zion or Ja? Now, me personally, I'd say I'll probably take Zion before the fact that I feel like he can build people around him. I mean, John can too, but he's more of the like, as you saw in the playoff, like, I'm not saying his team is better without him, but his team can do good enough without him. And then, if he leaves that team, they can get uh, some good players, and they can build that team up. If, if you catch him, not throwing up. But, um, yeah, I have to take Zion. He just, I feel like, you know, he's a better option. And then, but if you choose John, it's not a bad pick either. Cause they're, I think they're like the third in their in the in the division. I think they're like the third in the division. But um, yeah, me personally. Oh yeah, this video is all jokes. I gotta get that out of the way. This video is all jokes. But me personally, I'd rather have probably probably Zion. <clears throat>